Anywho, let's transition. I don't want to spend too much on this. Um, let's go Chief Jack. This one was surprisingly, like, the score was surprisingly lower than what I expected. So the Chiefs won 17-9. I picked the Chiefs. I was a bit hesitant at first because I thought that the Jags would score a lot of points. And... I'm glad I picked the Chiefs. I'm glad I went with championship pedigree. I'm glad I went with Patrick Mahomes because you don't want to bet against Patrick Mahomes. So the Chiefs, they're one and one. Um, Travis Kelsey came back. That's one of the reasons. And, and Chris Jones as well. They both came back. So those were the reasons why I essentially picked the Chiefs overall because they got their two anchors, their two captains, their two best players at their positions. And they won the game. And the, the Chiefs defense is... I have to say this. I'm a, I'm very impressed with how they played the past two weeks. I thought it was possibly a fluke. Week one, week one jitters. You're on a prime time game, first game of the season. Everybody's watching you. Going to be a little nervous. So the offenses might not be as um, efficient as we would like. But this Chiefs defense looks legit. Nick Bolton, Chris Jones, uh I forget the other guys on that on that, but I know I know those those two guys right there are, are legit. And Steve Spagnola has these brothers playing like crazy right now. Like I am completely shocked at how well this Chiefs defense looks. And go back to the Super Bowl. They made that one play against Jalen Hurts when they had him fumbling the ball. The Chiefs, the Chiefs defense, I, I'll say this, like, the Chiefs, if they get a solid receiver, like a really solid receiver, it's a wrap. Like, they're going to go back to the Super Bowl again because that defense looks really freaking good. Patrick Mahomes, he's never had, like, a great defense, but this defense right here, what? Like, his best defense was... The first time he won a Super Bowl, which they had like Tyron Matthew, I think Prashad Breeland was on there. Um, you know, obviously Chris Jones and um, Frank Clark. I forget who else was on there, but that I remember that one. That was a pretty like solid top fifteen, top thirteen type of defense. Which you you really, I mean, for Patrick Mahomes, that's all you really need. But this defense right here, this could be like top ten type of defense right here like the way they're looking it reminds me of like new england back in the day where they didn't have like all of the big names on the defense but they still played complimentary football really good solid football because schematically the coaches just was able to draw up different plays that worked in their favor so that's what the, the chiefs reminded me right now is just how the patriots were able to take less um less talent and bring them to their system and all of a sudden they just they just start hooping and so the chiefs all they need is a receiver <laughs> and the league is cooked all they need is a receiver that's literally all all they need and oh. Excuse me, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock at night, so, you know, I'm kind of tired. But, anywho, there's going to probably be a receiver in a trade deadline they could probably scoop up. So, the Chiefs, the way the AFC is looking, the Chiefs are back in business yet again. All right, and then, who, who, oh, on the Jag side of things. So, here's the deal. The Jags beat the Colts week one. So you lose to the Chiefs week two. You only score, what was it, nine points. You have Trevor Lawrence as the quarterback. Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, Evan Ingram, Travis Etienne. You only score nine points. That's pathetic. That's egregious. You know, I'm, I'm hearing all these things about, oh, Trevor Lawrence is top two now. He's only behind Patrick Mahomes. Okay. With those weapons, and you can only score nine points. Now, you could now you could blame the Doug Peterson a little bit. Schematically, maybe he could have done a lot better. 
But I feel like people, media, and folks on Twitter that just want to crown Trevor Lawrence, I feel like they don't, there's not a lot of criticism when it comes to Trevor Lawrence. I feel like there's more excuses than actual criticism. So I just want to know, like, anybody watching, Trevor Lawrence and that offense only scoring nine points. Is that not a problem? Like, am I tripping or something? Like, I think the Chiefs defense is solid, but nine points? No. I do th- I do think the Jags will be fine. I-, I say they win their division, but like nine points is crazy, bro. That is absolutely crazy. 